with more than 200 plus uh, indicators uh, to be monitored, the SDG presents a monumental task uh, for countries around the world, particularly for uh, less uh, developed countries uh, which uh, have uh, already overstretched uh, and under-resourced uh, national statistical systems. Uh, this calls uh, for uh, a, a better use uh, of available resources, a more efficient, a cost-effective way uh, to uh, collect data, uh, both uh, old and uh, new data. Uh, obviously, big data provides a unique opportunity uh, to help uh, countries uh, to monitor the SDG. Uh, however, uh, we must be mindful of at least a couple of things. Uh, one is uh, that uh, a lot of the, uh, of the new data needs to go through a process of rigorous uh, validation. And this is something that, for instance, ISTAT uh, is embarking uh, through a, a process uh, of uh, experimentation. And the bank also is, uh, is, uh, is also doing uh, its part. But the other uh, factor, which is probably even more important, is like that we need to ensure that uh, uh, there is an equitable diffusion and adoption and use of, uh, of uh, big data, uh, particularly, as I was saying before, in low and middle income countries. So we want to make sure that the new technologies uh, and the new opportunities are shared equally. Uh, across uh, across the globe, and this is where the World Bank uh, uh, comes in uh, in, the, in the work that we're currently doing. And we're retooling ourselves, uh, we're reorganizing in order to assist uh, uh, developing countries, uh, uh, particularly either countries, uh, in uh, taking advantage uh, of uh, of the opportunities that big data uh, provides.